it's important to understand the difference between a form, a survey, and a quiz, because we can create all three within Microsoft Forms. Now, effectively, all three of these are forms, so to speak, but they do differ slightly. Now, in this lesson, we're going to focus on creating a survey, first of all. But before we do that, let's just take a brief look at an example of a form so that you can understand the difference between a form, a survey and a quiz. Since the last lesson, I've gone in and I've created myself a form. So you can see here underneath recent, there it is, the employee form. If I click on it to open it up, this is the form. Now you can see here that this is basically an employee form. So I need employees of my organization to complete the following fields, full name, work email address, work phone number, business legal name, so on and so forth. And we have quite a few questions in here and they are a mixture of different question types. So some of these are free text fields where they just type into the form, whereas some of these they need to make selections. Now this is classified as a form because other people fill it out, they complete their information. Now a survey on the other hand, is slightly different. When we create a survey, we're looking for feedback from people. So we might want to find out what they thought of a product. We might want them to rate something out of 10, or maybe we just want them to decide what chocolate bars we should have in the meeting room. So a survey is more for collecting feedback, whereas a form is something that people fill out for informational purposes. Now, a quiz is an entirely different thing, and we will talk about that a little bit later on. Now, when it comes to creating a survey, which is what this lesson is going to focus on, notice that we don't have a new survey button, and that is because we simply use the new form button at the top. So we create forms and surveys in exactly the same way. So the first thing we need to do when we're creating a new survey is we need to give our survey a name. So in this head area at the top, if we click, we can then type in the name for our survey. So this is going to be a customer satisfaction survey for a candle company. We work at a candle company, we sell candles and we want to get some feedback from our customer base. Now, once you've typed in the title of your form, notice on the right hand side, we have a little image icon just here so we can add an image to the top of the survey. So we can search for an image online. We can grab one from OneDrive or we can upload from our local drives. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, the image that I'm going to use, I saved into the course files folder. So if you want to use the same image as me, you can. If you want to use something entirely different, that is up to you. So we're going to grab the logo for Happy Flame Candle Company. Let's click on open and that's going to upload into the form. Notice that when we hover over this image, we get the opportunity to add in some alternative text, some alt text. Now, I always highly recommend that you do this because this is super helpful for anybody using a screen reader. And alt text is really just a description of the image. So I'm going to add one in now. Let's click on add to add that alternative text. And also note here, we do have a trash can icon. So if we want to delete this image and re-upload something else, we can do that from here as well. The final thing to do this first stage of creating a survey is just add a form description. Please provide feedback on your experience with Happy Flames so we can improve our service. And when we click away, we have a really nice header to our survey. Now, at any time when you're working with a survey or a form, you can preview what that's going to look like to other people. Notice we have a preview button in the top right hand corner. If I click this, that is currently what my form looks like. And notice that we can preview on computer and also what it's going to look like on a mobile device, which is pretty cool. Let's click on back because we're now ready to dive into the next lesson and start adding in some questions.